Hi guys, this is Linzel. Today I'm doing another Let's Draw, so let's get right into it. Today I'm drawing the character Bambi, from the book Bambi, Alive in the Woods by Felix Salton. So as most of you probably know Bambi from, Bambi is actually not from just a Disney movie. It's actually from a German or Austrian book, I believe. And honestly, the book is really good and I really recommend you read it. As far as I know, it's in the public domain currently, because it's published really long time ago. So you should be able to just read it for free online somewhere. So yeah, I really recommend you check it out. Uh, because often when I hear about like animal point of view books, uh, I hear Watership Down being mentioned a lot. But honestly, I feel like Bem should be right there, because it's, it's just a really solid book. and. Honestly, the movie kind of does a disservice to the book. Like, it's a good movie, don't get me wrong, but in the movie it's more like events in the life of this deer, while in the book it has more of a main moral and message it's going for, so it feels like everything has a little bit more of a point. It's just a really good book. Like, even it, I, I'd say it's up there with Fathership Down. It, it deserves all the recognition uh, it doesn't really get. So, I'd really say just go check out this book. Uh, in the book, Bambi is also a roe deer, in case you are wondering why I'm not drawing him as a white tailed deer. Uh, roe deer are smaller deer species native to Europe, as far as I know, and maybe uh, parts of uh, Eurasia even. But we have them a lot over here in Europe, uh, I sometimes even come across them in our own forests and I just think they're really cute, sweet little deer and I just really enjoy the book being from a Rodeo's point of view rather than something more obvious like a white tail deer or a red deer. One of the reasons they actually didn't use Rodeo in the uh, Disney Bambi movie was to make it more familiar for an American audience and also because World War II was going on so getting reference there imported from Europe was kind of hard to do. So yeah, I'm drawing uh, Bambi as a little fawn over here and as his older adult form where he's the elder prince and I just thought it would be fun to see these two, uh, like how he grows up. I'm putting a little bit more effort into the big one. Uh, the nearly the half buddy one. Uh, so yeah, going back to the book, the book also has a sequel called Bambi's Children, appropriately, as it follows Bambi's children, his son Gino and his daughter Guri, as they grow up. And it, honestly, I think the sequel might even be better than the first book. I always enjoyed the characters at least a little more, because the characters have more personality than in the first book. But overall, I really recommend both of these books. They're just amazing and they I really recommend them. Except, well, there's one thing. They are both kind of Watership Down-ish also when it comes to the violence. Because there is quite a few bloody and animal death and you just... It's not for the very faint of heart. It's The book is more re meant for like older readers than actually younger readers. So I wouldn't recommend you just... Watch it, because if you think the Bambi's mom scene in the Disney adaptation was bad, yeah, get ready, because uh, it's it's there's much more of that. So yes, I'm uh, using MS Paint as program still, and this time I'm doing something a little different in that I'm using colored line arts. I really don't do this often, so I'm kind of new to this, but I just kind of trying to figure out what looks nice and where to use what colors for the line arts. I'm also using more of a semi-realistic style over here. I still gave him more anthropomorphic eyes because I think that there with their horizontal pupils are just kind of hard to look expressive, even though I really like those pupil shapes, so I decided to give him round more human-like eyes and pupils. I also made Fawn Bambi a little bit more reddish. I like to think that this adult Bambi kind of like aged, so his coat got kind of paler. I also forgot to add the spots to young Bambi by the way, but it's too late to fix it now, so I'm just going to assume he lost his spots by now. So now I'm in Manga Studio and I'm kind of working on more details of the picture. I kind of didn't want know what I wanted to do for a background for Adult Bambi, except that I wanted like show a little bit of forest, so I got some public domain uh, stock imagery of a forest. And I'm just 
kind of playing around with how I can show it off properly right now. I just kind of want to create like a, a little selection area where you can actually see the forest uh, going through. But I'm not very adjusted to this, so I'm just kind of new. I just tried something. Now I'm uh, adding the lighting, so I hope my shading is looking better. I've, I've been trying new types of shading lately, so I really hope that this looks better than my previous shading. I feel like uh, using these more foresty shades like dark green and pale yellow for Bambi shading to make him blend in more with the background. I'm also adding like a little greenish overlay over him just to make sure that he actually fits more. Now I'm still playing around with the background still, like it's kind of hard for me to imagine what I want by now, but I know, I know what I want, I just don't know how to go for it. By now I've kind of found what I wanted, so now I'm just going to play with some overlays, play with the colors a little bit, with the values. So yeah, this is my Bambi drawing, and I hope to draw more characters of these books soon. I really recommend you check out these books, and yeah, see you later.